get fast rage quits with this easy defensive setup. Coming up next. Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, Scott, you know my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so I have had several, several people that have watched my videos put in a request uh, for me to break down this defense. This is the meta defense that pretty much came on the tail end of Madden. Uh, it is a 52 defense. Uh, what I do like about the 52 defense is that it's extremely, extremely easy to set up the pressure and your opponent has to adjust to it uh, to be effective. Um, and there's many different ways to run this defense. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, but what's cool about it is that you get very effective pr pressure off the edge. Now, um, ideally what you want to do is you want to try to have your fastest um, and most uh, athletic um, defensive ends uh, at the end position. So right now I actually have Akeem Hicks. He's, he's a great defensive player our defensive lineman, but he's not the fastest. I'm going to actually put in Khalil Mack because he's got that 87 speed. And I'm going to go ahead and shore up my defensive line by taking uh, Hicks and actually putting him over on this other position. Now, I could potentially put another fast uh, linebacker like Leonard Floyd over here at the other end position where I have Aaron Lynch, but Aaron Lynch is actually fairly quick. Uh, he's athletic, he's got really good block shed. So I'm actually gonna leave him in because he's just a little bit better of a block shedder. So this defensive setup is fairly simple, straightforward. We're really going to run this defense out of the uh, the fire zone two, but it does come with other stock defenses you're going to jump into. So I'm going to show you the base defensive setup and how you can set this pressure up easily against your opponent, uh, and then also show you covered shells to confuse your opponent to go ahead and keep, keep them guessing. The, one of the key things about being a very effective on um, uh, defense is changing up your coverages, changing up your looks against your opponent so they never get comfortable and never start uh, adjusting to what you're doing. So most of the rookie players out there, there or the noobs out there, they'll find a blitz or they'll find a defensive coverage and they'll sit in it forever and then actually wonder why they're getting carved up by people. So if you change up your defenses, you'll get more stops, get more uh, uh, you know, a turnover on downs, you get more turnovers in general. So we're going to come out of the fire zone too, but I'll show you other different types of setups to go and keep your opponent guessing. All right, so uh, basically this defense is extremely easy to set up. All you're going to do is you're going to base a line. Uh, the next step is you're going to go ahead and take your defensive line and shift them out like this. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead, and if you can pinch your defensive linemen uh, or your uh, linebackers, you want to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and blitz our left linebacker, whoever we're not going to be using. And we're going to take this guy and actually go and hover. And we're just going to hold our, our, our left trigger button over the guard because what this is going to do is it's going to preoccupy the guard. And you'll see that the pressure just comes in screaming off the edge very, very fast. It's just a very easy blitz to set up. And what's cool about it is that it's universal for all the different types of coverages. So it's very easy to, to set up. You just have those global adjustments. And you can see what happens is because of the way the blocking assignments are set up, these linemen, these tackles, don't know who to cover, giving the edge pressure coming in straight out, right off the edge. Base the line, take your defensive line and, and slant them outside, pinch our linebackers and blitz uh, either side of the linebacker, whoever the opposite side of the linebackers that we're going to cover. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and fall down into this gap uh, right here, the A gap, and you hold your right trigger to go ahead and preoccupy that guard, and you're going to see the pressure just come screaming off the edge and get an easy blitz. Now what's great about this play too is that it works against a blocked running back. So once again, just setting that up, And you can see just the pressure comes off with the block sheds. This is a very easy blitz to set up. And it's going to be very, it's effective against um, basically a block running back too. You're going to get that edge pressure. You're going to get those block sheds. And you also have got a man version of this particular blitz too that you can go ahead and throw against your opponent. And that's going to mess them up even more.
So you can see the pressure just came off. There's also a cover three version of it too that you can jump into just to mess up his reeds. So it's a really, really effective blitz. Now, where are the weaknesses of this defense? One of the first weaknesses of this defense is obviously going to be the seams. And because you're going to be sending six blitzers, uh, that means that you're going to have to really defend a lot of area in the middle of the field. So the seams are going to be a, a, an area that you're going to have to worry about. Um, the middle of the field, you're going to have to use her. Also, the flats are going to be are going to be exposed. So there's going to be the areas that you're really going to have to worry about trying to cover. Sometimes I want to go ahead and throw my opponent's uh, reads off. What I'll do is I'll throw a different look. I can switch into just basic cover two and go ahead and take my one my linebacker and actually put him in a deep blue and then go ahead and make an adjustment and put my uh, far edge defender and actually put him on, on, on a vert hook. And it actually gives me just another way to go ahead and attack my opponent and actually show uh, mess up his reads a little bit. So now I actually have got guys floating in different areas, forcing bad passes or bad decisions. Um, another version that I like to use too is the cover three version. And what you can do is go ahead and take both of your guys and actually put them in hook zones. And you have flat seams by the defenders. So this actually will go ahead and uh, play the flat seams for you. And you have those vertical hooks uh, that's going to mess up your opponent's reads uh, just because you just got more defenders floating in the area. So it's going to mess them up a little bit. And a quick adjustment you can do to make your cover threes a little bit more effective is actually go ahead and use the quick adjustment feature and then uh, select sticks, which would be the left bumper. And what these guys are going to do is they're going to fall back a little bit deeper in the coverages and play, play 10 yards out with the coverages. So you'll see these guys fall back in more of those corner routes. As you can see right here, this defender actually fell back and played away some of those those routes that typically will not get taken away unless you do play uh, play the sticks. So if you can see right here, this defender actually got really far out and he took away that out route that usually an opponent might think is going to be available. But as you can see, the ball got overthrown and out of bounds. So this is a really good defense to use. I've had, if you've watched my gameplay, you've seen me uh, get a lot of rage quits. I don't even set it up like this. I actually spread out the defensive line a little bit more just to make sure I want to get more edge pressure. But you can actually go ahead and take your guys and just leave them stock and just crash them out. Uh, the key to this particular blitz is making sure you blitz that six blitzer. And all you have to do is just play center field right over the middle of the field and look for their hot read because they have to get rid of the ball really quick uh, against this defense. So once again, my subscribers, guys, I really I, I, I really appreciate your support. Uh, my Patreon members, I appreciate your support. I hope you guys picked up from uh, this defense. This is a defense I've had. Just look at my gameplay. You see me getting a lot of sacks, getting a lot of stops, and forcing my opponents to go ahead and make, right, make, uh, make different reads to go and get rid of the ball. And it's nice to basically have a defense where you know you can consistently get pressure against your opponent, and they really can't. The only way they can stop it is by max protecting. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. And until next time.